Okay, good evening everyone. As usual, before we start the meeting, we ask our city clerk to read the quote for the week. Thank you. The willingness to accept responsibility for one's own life and actions is a source from which self-respect springs. Thank you very much. And one announcement to the, the public is that after tonight, the next council meeting and thereafter, every single council meeting will be shown in channel 990, not channel 8, and that's because of the changes that have occurred at, at Charter. So it, please uh, convey that to your constituents also, channel 990 from here on. Call the 12th regular meeting of the Common Council of Order. Please call the roll. Boren. Here. Bauk. Here. Decker. Here. Gisha. Here. Hannah. Here. Heidemann. Here. Kittleson. Here. Clayunas. Here. Meyer. Here. Montemayor. Here. Rinfleisch. Here. Ryan. Here. Surik. Here. Vanderweel. Here. Verhasselt. Here. And Wangaman. Here. 16 present. Quorum is present. Pledge of Allegiance, I'd ask Alderman Montemayor to lead us. Thank you, sir. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Alvin Montemayor. Approval of the minutes, President Hanna. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. Motion and second to approve minutes under discussion. There is none. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Minutes stand approved. Mayor, Mayor's appointments. Attorney uh, Chuck Adams. Uh, submitting the following appointments for your confirmation, the Water Sa Safety Task Force. Uh, William Bittner, Director of Public Works, David Kirk, Chief of Police, Alderman Corey Balk, Marcus Evans, Donna Wendland, Karen Davis, Thomas Butts, uh, Vu Yang, and Lawrence Freitag. Thank you. And those appointments will lie over. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is public forum. There's no one tonight. No one to speak to the council tonight. We will move on. Election of the Board of Water Commissioners. President Hanna. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I move that the nominations be received from the floor. Uh, voting be done by open ballot. And if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list and balloting continue until one candidate receives a majority of the votes. Second. Motion and second. <coughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. I'll entertain nominations. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I would nominate Ray Hain as the Board of Waterworks Commissioner. Second. Motion and second. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? President Hanna. <clears throat> I move that the nominations, that we close the nominations and pass the unanimous ballot for Ray Hain as our new and continuing Board of Waterworks Commissioner. Second. Motion and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Congratulations, Ray. You're in the back. Ray, Ray. I and the council appreciate the hard work you're doing. Thank you, Ray. Okay, moving on. We have two hearings tonight. The first one for the proposed assessments for water lateral replacements in Huron Avenue from North 11th Street to North 15th Street. The second one for the vacation and discontinuance of an unpaved alley between Illinois Avenue and Indiana Avenue in South 13th and South 14th Street. Is there anyone that would like to address the council with respect to any of those two hearings? Is there anyone that would like to address the council? Is there anyone? There being none, President Hanna. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd make a motion to close the hearings. Second. Motion and second to close <coughs> hearings. Any discussion? There is none. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Hearings are closed. Consent agenda. Once again, President Hanna. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that all <clears throat> ROs be accepted and placed on file and all RCs be accepted and adopted. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion, consent agenda. There is none. Please call the roll. 
Boren? Aye. Falk? Aye. Decker? Aye. Yesha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Kleonis? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Zurich? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. And Wangaman? Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. Report of Officers 2, 1124, lies over to October 6. 11.25 lies over to October 20th. 12.25, pardon me. To be referred 12.26 through 12.36. Resolutions introduced three, 12.37 by Alderman Montemayor, Surik, Meyer, and Decker adjusting the pay range midpoint for all non-represented classifications by 3.25% for the year 2009. Alderman Montemayor. Thank you, Your Honor. I move the resolution be put upon its passage. Is there a second? Okay. Motion and second, under discussion. President Hamm. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd make a motion to file the document. Second. second. There's a motion and second to file 1237, under discussion on filing it. There is none. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. aye. Could we do a roll? Call the roll. Please. Please call the roll. Falk. An I vote to file. To file, yes. yes. Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? No. Kleunas? Aye. Meyer? No. Montemayor? No. Rinfleisch? Aye. Excuse me? Aye. Thank you. Ryan? Aye. Zurich? Vanderweel, Aye. Verhassel, Aye. Wangaman, Aye. and Boren. Aye. <clears throat> 13 ayes, 3 noes. Motion carries. 1238 by Alderman Gisha, Clayunas, Baug, Boren, Montemayor, approving security improvements to City Hall in the amount of not to exceed $38,745. Alderman Gisha. Thank you, Your Honor. I, put, I move that the report of committee, pardon me, that the resolution be put upon its passage. Motion and second. Under discussion. Uh, for uh, consumption of uh, fellow alder people and public, uh, this is due to the police department moving out of the lower level. And uh, this is a plan to uh, offer some security and replace some doors. Frankly, the back door doesn't even have a lock on it. So uh, this is to uh, secure uh, the premise. Thank you. Mayor, I think we should have a suspension. We're spending 40%. <coughs> The, uh, the issue has not been before a uh, committee, so... Sorry, Your Honor, that is correct. I'm asking uh, in addition for a suspension of the rules uh, for the specific reasons that I mentioned, uh, the timeliness of getting this done. Uh, we received several of the uh, bids and so forth in finance, and they've been thoroughly researched, at least based on the timeline that we're able to, and ask that uh, rules be suspended. You're making a motion. Is there a second to that motion to suspend? Is there any objection to that suspension? There is none. Now we'll proceed with the motion to put the resolution upon its passage. It's under discussion, and we have first Alderman Verhassel. Thank you, Your Honor. I guess would this be customary, uh, customary to send this to a bid process? I had heard some reference to a bid. Has there been an official bid process? It uh, it certainly could go to uh, a bidding process. I believe what's been what's happened is they they've done already. They've called several people, and I think the the matter is to try to secure that door as quickly as possible. It'll take some time, um, and then we'll have yes, please. Follow up question. Then. Oh, where does the, if we've done an informal bid process, where does the thirty-eight thousand seven forty-five sit within the bid process? High end, low end, middle? I don't have that answer for you, but we could get uh, somebody. Okay. I'm going to take them in the order. We'll come back to your question, okay, about the, uh, the bid. Okay, next we have Alderman Rainflesh in order. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, my question actually is in a very similar vein. Um, looking at the attached sheet, um, VHF, UHF radio would be installation included by whom I have a tough time believing that there isn't multiple vendors that would do a radio unlike some of the things that we deal with in, in the city where there's really only one uh, vendor that can do that. 
Um, two other items I do like to see that the city hall employees will run the cabling and the, uh, uh, well, cabling in two different projects. Uh, but if the emergency situation would be to secure the door, I have a tough time believing we need to set aside 40000 right now, approximately, to secure the door right now. Um, I, I would like to see the rest of this go to a bid process as well. And if we need to lock the door, we'll lock the door now and then you know, add the rest of the security later on as, as, as possible. If, uh, if it fits the wishes of the uh, council to have it go through the bid process, uh, perhaps the best thing to do is to vote down the su suspension because you need two-thirds vote. That way you don't kill the resolution. It still stays alive and it lies over for next time. So would anybody like to re make a motion to reconsider the suspension? If not, if not. Your Honor. Yes. Uh, Your Honor, seeing it was my motion, I can address a couple of points. One okay. being. Hold on. Oh, you're, you're on now. Thank you. Uh, addressing a couple of points. One being, uh, several of these vendors are in the Wisconsin uh, purchasing system, which already vets the bids for us. So those were the easy ones. Second, the cabling is going to be done by City Hall employees for all these projects. Uh, this is a. This is not a massive undertaking. Um, based on the timeline, staff felt it was necessary to, to suspend. Uh, there is some timelines in ordering these things. I, I wish we would have had this six months ago. We just don't. If there are any other members of the committee that have a different opinion on that, then I would gladly pull back the ask for suspension of the rules. Well, the suspension of rules has already been acted on. Oh, pardon me. No, this is why you need to reconsider that suspension if that's what you want to do. Otherwise, if you vote it down, you vote it down. Okay, next we have Alderman Oak. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And I would just uh, piggyback on what the chairman of the Finance Committee said. We actually considered uh, options that were about three or four times this amount of money, and the Finance Committee pared it back to just the elements that we thought we needed now. In today's world, who wants to come to work on the third floor of a building that only has one staircase out of it? Uh, when you work in the contra uh, controversial kind of things that uh, people in the upstairs offices do, who wants to work in a place like that when the doors don't lock and when there aren't panic buttons when the police are no longer downstairs? So I think uh, what the Finance Committee is recommending, I won't speak for the committee, I'll just speak for myself. What I think I heard us talk about was we pared it down to the bare minimum, we're behind on time, and so we approved what we thought the bare minimum was to create a safe work environment for the upper floors in City Hall after the police department leaves. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Next we have uh, Vice President Bourne. Thank you, Your Honor. <clears throat> if I remember correctly from the Finance Committee meeting, we've already approved the back door because it was our discretion because the back door was going to be less than $15,000, and the rest of this, I thought, was for the rest of the, the cameras, uh, and the rest of it. But I refresh, uh, maybe Alderman Gisher, or Mr. Or if, if, if the uh, finance director is here, Mr. Hansen, I thought we approved the back door. You're correct. Alderman so Clayton. If I could just follow up, Your Honor. I think that was the most urgent thing was the back door because of the condition that it's in. And uh, the rest of it, because there's maybe not quite as much of an urgency, maybe could go out to bid. But we wanted to get the back door taken care of right away. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Just a point of question. When is the police station supposed to be ready? And uh, when are they moving? Do you know that? Yes, the dates uh, are, are, are varying. Uh, the last I heard was the first week in October. Now we're looking first or second week in October. There's been a slight delay due to the communications room. So we're looking at the first or second week of November now. Mm, okay. Okay. Any other discussion? Alderman Verhassel. Thank you. Um, it seems to be customary to waive the bidding process, and that's, that's why I guess I'm commenting here tonight. It's not that this is a massive amount. We're not dealing with six figures, but it's the principle of the matter that we continually seem to waive the bidding process. I trust that the Finance Committee has done their homework and has looked into this, but I think it would be wise to stay the course, go through the formal bidding process, put all the numbers out in front of all 16 of us, and work it the way the system was meant to work. Um, as you just indicated, it appears we have plenty of time to go through the normal process. Um, I'd suggest that we do that. I also am concerned, is there another bill coming? This sounds like it's a partial uh, renovation or a partial retrofitting of the process. If I understood Alderman Buck's comments, correct? 
Okay. No, Your Honor. Oh, hold, on, hold on. Hold on. Let me get you. Otherwise, people can't hear you. Okay. Okay. Hold on. There were there were many options put before the finance committee. The finance committee pared it back to. I think the big elements are the panic button system with the radio that would go out and say, "Hey, come help us." Um, it's the uh, keyless entry, the digital entry uh, or biometric entry. So all city employees that are supposed to be in, their access would be controlled by electronic access. And then the cameras to record anything that might go on in the halls and things of that nature. So th this isn't the first of a, of a larger program. We paired it back to what we thought uh, was, uh, was prudent. And then if I might ask, Mr. Mayor, if somebody from poli the police department or perhaps from IT could weigh in on how much time uh, do we have time? We have six weeks apparently now if we wait till the 1st of November. Is six weeks enough to go through the bidding process and get the stuff installed by the time we'd need it? I'd like to know that answer, sir. Um, Mr. Tujali, would you please come up, sir? I believe you, uh, you had a part in working with this plan. Good, Mike. There's a, there's a sheet that I think it's in your packet that kind of breaks it down to all the components. As uh, Alderman Balk had said, the first two pieces here is for the panic button. Currently, right now, there are pan panic buttons within City Hall, but because the police department is right down there, when you press it, obviously it goes downstairs. So when they move out, those uh, particular functions will no longer be working. So you'll need to have some way to communicate either the fire or the police department for them to show up here so they can assist. assist. Uh, obviously, the electronic access system. This part here, obviously, is the keyless uh, entry into the city hall here, as well as controlling when the doors will be locked. They will be uh, computerized so that anybody that's coming to the city hall here through the back doors or through the front door at off hour will be uh, logged so that we can see who's coming into the city hall and at what time. Uh, obviously, the cameras, pretty, pretty straightforward. The cameras will be placed at all the counters where there is cash transactions. So the finance counter, the city clerk, building inspection, uh, and then uh, obviously that, and the assessor's office too as well. For the electronic system, that will take about four weeks for them to order the equipment, put it on their schedule, and come into city hall to install. The First two options, we can have that order and it'll be here in about a week and a half. It'll probably take about another week and a half for the IT staff to go through and wire up City Hall so that we can put the equipment in there. So all total, if you put all that together, it'll probably take about maybe a month to get all the equipment to wire City Hall and to have all that installed and tested. Okay, okay. thank you very much. So. We have a motion uh, 1238 uh, to put the resolution upon this passage. Please call the roll. <clears throat> Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heideman? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clayunas? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? No. Ryan? Aye. Excuse me? Aye. Thank you. <laughs> Zurich? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? No. Wangaman? Aye. Boren aye. and Balk. Aye. 14 ayes, 2 noes. Motion carries. 1239 through 1241 lies over. 1242 through 1245 to be referred. Report of Committee 6, 1246 by law and licensing. Recommending denying beverage operators license number 2578 based on the applicant's failure to include all relevant convictions on the application, the record of violations related to the licensed activity, the record as a repeat law violator, and the applicant's failure to cooperate with the committee, and the criminal record which makes him ineligible to hold a license. Vice President Bourne. Thank you, Your Honor. <clears throat> I move that the report of committee uh, be accepted and adopted. Motion and second, under discussion. Under discussion, Your Honor, is Anthony Dooney here tonight. He's not here, Your Honor. Very well, please proceed. Uh, Mr. Dooney had two opportunities, uh, the second by certified mail to appear before the Law and Licensing Committee. He did not appear, and then also the committee was uh, very concerned about his lengthy criminal record that made him ineligible to hold the license, so we moved unanimously to deny. Okay, uh, 
1246, please call the roll. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Kleunis? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Surik? Vanderweel? Aye. Verhassel? Aye. Wangeman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. And Decker? Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. 1247 to be referred. Report of Committee 7, 1248 and 49 to be referred. Report of Committee 8, 1250 by salaries and grievances, recommending budgeting a 4.0% 4, 4 across the board pay increase for 2009 based on the midpoint of the ap applicable class grade for all, in elig for all eligible non-represented employees. We have Alderman Pauk, you hit it first. And I wasn't quite fast enough for you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. I was actually talking about 1249. I just wanted to mention that there will be a committee of the whole meeting that's been scheduled for 922 at 530 PM to discuss that piece that's been referred to us. Uh, we're going to have people speaking from out of town. We're going to have people from uh, probably from the uh, Department of Corrections coming in and weighing in on the statistics. This will be a chance for citizens and the older uh, persons to get as much information about that, uh, uh, that piece of ordinance as they can. Thank you. Thank you. And Alderman Montemayor, you're next. Thank you, Your Honor. I move to accept and file the RFC and the resolution be put upon its passage. Is there a second? Second. Motion and second under discussion. Vice President, uh, President Hanna. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd make a motion to file. Second. Motion and second to file under discussion. There is none. Please call roll. <clears throat> Hanna. Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? No. Clayunis? Aye. Meyer? No. Montemayor? No. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. I'm sorry? Aye. Thank you. Sirk? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhassel? Aye. Wangeman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Decker? Aye. And Gisha? Aye. 13 ayes, 3 noes. Motion carries. Ordinance is introduced 10, 1251. Lies over. 12.52 by Alderman Mont... No, I'm sorry. Vice President Boren. That, that uh, that's on 1252, Your Honor. Yes. Do you want me to go ahead? Yes, please. Uh, Your Honor, thank you, Your Honor. I'll make a motion to file document number 1252. Second. Motion and second to file 1252 under discussion. Under discussion, Your Honor. Uh, I think it was two meetings ago. Uh, for the people that are watching, the, this is, uh, has to do with the uh, residency requirement for department heads. This document that's proposed, 1252, would uh, allow department heads not to complete their residency requirement until after their probationary period. Uh, I believe it was two meetings ago, we passed a, you might say, a, a hardship amendment uh, to this ordinance saying that if there was a department head for some reason could not move into the city within six months, that we would grant a 90-day extension, which we did a couple of meetings ago for one of the department heads. So I, I, uh, I think this, meet, this ordinance from 1975 has been working very well. There have been many department heads hired since 1975, and all of them, uh, all of them to my knowledge, uh, have been able to fulfill their residency requirement within six months, and we just passed a hardship, a hardship remedy uh, if that's the case that they can't move in, so that's why I'm asking to file this. Any other discussion? There is none. Please call the roll. Oh, I'm sorry. Alderman with the mail. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, this particular change in the ordinance has nothing to do with hardship. It has to do with fairness. A, a new hire has six months probation, and then he is either hired or not hired. So it seems fair to me that six months after he is actually hired for sure, would be enough time, then the six months uh, residency should be after that. Because it would seem unfair to require a person to sell their house before they know for sure they have the job. Okay, thank you. Next we have Alderman Bauk. Thank you, Your Honor. And I, uh, I see the shot at fairness in this document. I see that that uh, is probably a, a, a good motivation behind it. I, I just wonder at that level, when we hire a department head in this city, um, I hope that they, uh, they don't need that cushion. I hope that we've interviewed them. I hope that the uh, Civil Service Board has vetted them 
and I hope that during the interview process we, we feel pretty darn good about their chance to succeed. And when we hire people from out of town at the director level uh, at my company, uh, they don't get a probationary period and, and uh, uh, things of that nature. So I, I'm going to vote no just because I think that when we hire people at that level, we expect them to be successful. We want them to be successful. And, and uh, so I'm going to vote no. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Alderman Rainfleisch. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I agree with, with some of the statements that have been made uh, regarding fairness uh, that uh, it's probably not necessary for department heads, but I would say even for other levels of government, it may not be necessary. Uh, I sell beer for a living. It's not a surprise if Miller Beer in Milwaukee offered me a job, not necessarily a supervisory position, but any position, I'd probably have to move there, and it's at will. There's no guarantee that that's going to work out for me, but if I want that position, I'm going to have to, to look seriously at locating. Second point is, the fair, in terms of fairness of making someone sell the house, we have established already that the, the many points that we can look at creating a residency. It does not mean you have to sell the previous uh, house. All it means is you have to live here, have an address here. And um, um, So we keep talking about the, the process of the real estate agency selling a property. That's only one of many things that we can look at for residency. Um, so again, especially department head and the money that they're making, hopefully they'll be able to afford something here to establish residency in the meantime while things if the, in a down market happen. But uh, uh, I'll also be voting against this. I think six months to, to relocate uh, should be sufficient. Uh, for anybody at that level um, to establish some kind of residency. Thank you. Thank you. Alderman Verhessel, you're next. Thank you, Your Honor. I, I'd love to see this come back to committee salary and grievance for some discussion because I think something needs to be done. Because essentially, the way it's set up right now, we're asking this person to sell their house before they're technically approved for their job. So there's a bit of an issue there that I could see, a uh, hesitation I would see with employees. Um, I think we should consider taking the probationary period back from six months, maybe to 60 or 90 days and then allowing a certain period of time, whether it be 90, 120, 180 days after that shortened probationary period. So I'd like to have this discussion back in committee. Thanks. Thank you. Mr. President Bourne. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, thank you for your, for your comments, Alderman Verhassel, uh, and, and the other comments. But when a department head decides to take, seek employment with the city of Sheboygan, they know up front that they have to move into the city within six months of their hire. And they know that up front. That's, that's a condition of an employment. And if they don't want to live up to that condition of employment, then they shouldn't, they shouldn't take the job with the city. So it, it's laid out in front. It has not been a problem that I know of since 1975. And I've been following city government long before I become an alderman. There's been many, many department heads hired under this ordinance since 1975. And as far as I know, there's only been one incidence where there's been a, uh, a, uh, an extension asked for, and the, and the council provided that because, because of the hardship that was demonstrated. So I think with what we did uh, um, a couple of meetings ago more than suffices and gives the person an opportunity, if there is a hardship, to extend the amount of time before they become residents. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, there's a motion to file 1252. There's no more discussion. Please call the roll. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clayunas? Aye. Meyer? No. Montemayor? No. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangeman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. And Hannah? 14 ayes, 2 noes. Motion carries. 1253 will be referred. Matters laid over 11 10 25 RO number 169 by the City Plan Commission recommending vacating the unpaved alley between Illinois Avenue and Indiana Avenue and South 13th Street and South 14th Street. Alderman Montemayor. Thank you, Your Honor. I move to accept and file the RO and the ordinance be put upon its passage. Motion and second under discussion. There is none. Please call the roll. Kittleson? Aye. Clionis? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangeman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. And Heidemann? Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. 1136, resolution number 101-0809 by Alderman Gisha, Clionis, Boren, and Montemayor authorizes a transfer of of appropriations in the 2008 budget 
establishing revenue and appropriations for funds received from drug enforcement activities, appropriation for fire department, reimbursement to the Milwaukee Fire Department while providing a fireboat for mutual aid to assist in search for a drowning victim, Mead Library Big Read program, funding through grant from uh, the National Foundation for the Arts and Friends of Mead Library. Alderman Gisha. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and second, under discussion. Your Honor, um, to follow up, one of the items is a $550.58 bill, not a bill of sorts, but yeah, I guess it's a bill, from the uh, Milwaukee Fire Department during our, our tragedy on the lake. They took the time, I believe, with a staff of three to move their new fire boat, which had side scan sonar capabilities, all the way up to Sheboygan, spent the entire day here, and then went all the way back to Sheboygan. Uh, I have a boat that wouldn't even cover the gas forward and back to uh, Milwaukee, not, not even including the time of these officers and uh, spent up here. Uh, just as a thanks to the Milwaukee Fire Department, we're sending us a fraction of what it would cost had we had to maintain such a piece of equipment ourselves. And, uh, and also pointing out how mutual aid works between departments. Thank you. Yeah. Although, just to correct, not to correct, but to point out that mutual aid is not based on reimbursement. Okay, so this is just a kind gesture on our part, the city's part, to take care of <coughs> some costs that probably wouldn't have been wouldn't have been incurred had they not been here so i too agree it's a it's the appropriate thing to do any further discussion please call the roll clayness meyer Aye. montemayor rinfleisch ryan surik vanderweel verhassel wangavin boren bauk decker gisha Aye. hannah heideman and kittleson Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. Before we go to 1151, I'd like to uh, repeat again to the public that from this, uh, the next council meeting, two weeks from now, or whenever that day is, the council meetings will no longer be shown live on channel eight. They will be shown live on channel 990. And this has to do with the changes that have occurred at Charter Communications. 1151, resolution number 1020809 by Alderman Bourne ordering a hearing on the vacation of a portion of the paved north-south alley between South 7th Street and South 8th Street and bordered on the south by Clara Avenue. Vice President Board. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and second under discussion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. 1154, resolution number 1030809 by Alderman Montemayor and Meyer, establishing a water safety task force for the city of Sheboygan. Alderman Montemayor. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and second, under discussion. There is none. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. 1143, general ordinance number 50809 by Alderman Hanna. Greenflyers, Ryan, Heidemann, and Kittleson relating to prohibited and time zones so as to delete the no parking 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. zone along the north side of St. Clair Avenue from the west curb line of North 6th Street, south, North 6th Street, west 225 feet. Alderman Hanna. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Mayor. I move to put the general ordinance upon its passage. Second. Motion and second. Un under discussion. There is none. Please call the roll. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Sirk? Vanderweel? Aye. Verhassel? Aye. Wangelman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. And Clayunas? Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. Other matters? Attorney Chuck Adams? 1254, submitting a communication from Alderperson Boren, along with an article from the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel on 9-11-08, entitled, More State Employers Freezing Wages. That will be referred to salary and grievances. 1255, submitting a communication from Brooke Wendorf, Sheridan Elementary School, requesting that a deaf child sign be placed at 1322A Jefferson Avenue, as there are two deaf children living there. And that will be referred to public protection and safety. 
1256, submitting an application from 2100 North LLC to rezone property located at 2019 2021 North Avenue from Class UI Urban Industrial to Class UC Urban Commercial. That will go to City Plan Commission. 1257, a resolution directing a public hearing to be held in connection with change of the city's official zoning map for property located at 2019 2021 North Avenue. That will lie over. 1258, an ordinance amending the City of Sheboygan official zoning map of the Sheboygan Zoning Ordinance to change the use district classification of property located at 2019-2021 North Avenue from Class UI Urban Industrial to Class Urban Commercial Classification. That will be referred to City Plan Commission. 1259, submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2009 and June 30, 2010. And that will be referred to Law and Licensing. President Hannah, motion to adjourn. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd make a motion to adjourn. Second. Motion, second to adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 Then adjourn. Wow.